Neera Tandon is an American political consultant and former government official. She is president of the Center for American Progress, a liberal think tank in Washington, D.C., where she has served in different capacities since 2003. Tandon has worked on several Democratic presidential campaigns, including those of Michael Dukakis in 1988, Bill Clinton in 1992, and Barack Obama in 2008. Tandon advised Hillary Clinton's successful 2016 primary campaign and unsuccessful 2016 general election campaign. She was also a senior staffer on Clinton's unsuccessful campaign for the 2008 Democratic nomination. During the Obama administration, Tandon helped draft the Affordable Care Act. On November 29, 2020, President-elect Joe Biden announced that he would nominate Tandon as the next Director of the Office of Management and Budget, subject to Senate approval. Early Life and Education Neera Tandon was born on September 10, 1970, in Bedford, Massachusetts to immigrant parents from India. She has a brother, Raj. Her parents divorced when she was five, after which Tandon's mother was on welfare for nearly two years before obtaining a job as a travel agent. She earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of California, Los Angeles, in 1992. In 1996, she received a Juris Doctor degree from Yale Law School where she was submissions editor for the Yale Law Policy Review. As a freshman at the University of California, Los Angeles, Tandon met her future husband, artist Benjamin Edwards. Edwards and Tandon both volunteered on Michael Dukakis's unsuccessful run for president in 1988. Tandon worked as a precinct leader in the Bel Air district of West Los Angeles where many households had already contributed to the Dukakis campaign career. After graduating from Yale Law School, Tandon moved to Washington, D.C., where she has worked on domestic policy on Capitol Hill, in think tanks, and for various Democratic senatorial and presidential campaigns. She has also written on Indian American issues. Work with the Clintons Tandon has been regarded as a Clinton loyalist and personal friend of Hillary Clinton whose career has largely been defined by her professional ties to the Clintons. She worked with President Bill Clinton's campaign on new energy policies and health care reform, as Associate Director for Domestic Policy in the Clinton White House, and as Senior Advisor in the First Lady's Office. In 1999 and 2000, Tandon was Deputy Campaign Manager and Issues Director for Hillary Clinton during her successful senatorial campaign in New York. In that capacity, she crafted policy proposals for the campaign. After the election, Tandon served as Senator Clinton's Legislative Director from 2003 to 2005. Tandon was Hillary Clinton's Policy Director for Clinton's unsuccessful bid for the 2008 Democratic presidential nomination. Tandon supervised debate preparation for Clinton's participation in the Democratic presidential nomination debates during 2007 and 2008. Tandon was an unpaid advisor to Clinton's successful 2016 primary season nomination campaign and unsuccessful general election campaign in opposition to Republican candidate Donald Trump while also running the Center for American Progress. After Clinton secured a Democratic nomination for president in 2016, Tandon was named to her transition team. Tandon was considered a candidate for a top White House job, had Clinton won the presidency. 2008 Obama general election campaign. After Barack Obama was nominated as the Democratic presidential candidate, Tandon was one of the first, and also one of the few, former Clinton campaign staffers to join his team. She was domestic policy director for his successful general election campaign, Obama administration. Tandon also served in the Obama administration as senior advisor to Secretary Kathleen Sebelius of the Department of Health and Human Services. She helped to draft the administration's health care legislation, including work specific to its proposed, but later withdrawn, public option. She also negotiated with Congress and stakeholders on several provisions of the bill. She has been described as one of the key architects of the Affordable Care Act Center for American Progress. In 2003, 
Tandon had a central role in the founding of the Center for American Progress, CAP. Tandon worked as Senior Vice President for Domestic Policy, while also serving as Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and, starting in 2010, as Chief Operating Officer. In October 2011, Tandon succeeded John Potts to as CAP's President and CEO. The Washington Post's Jason Horowitz described CAP as Washington's leading liberal think tank which is an incessant advocate for a broad progressive agenda and as such a sharp thorn in President Obama's left side. In 2016, a hacker obtained access to Podesta's private emails, which included exchanges with Tandon. In one exchange, on August 11, 2015, while discussing news that Harvard University law professor Lawrence Lessig was exploring a bid for the Democratic nomination, Tandon wrote of Lessig, I fucking hate that guy. Lessig responded to the incident by saying that while he supported whistleblowing and a pardon of Edward Snowden, Tandon should not have to be burdened with having her private emails scrutinized and that it was not in the public interest. Tandon called the release of her personal communications, which often feature her blunt private assessments, a painful experience to endure. After the 2016 election and Clinton's loss, Tandon refocused the work of the Center for American Progress, aiming to have the think tank, and especially its advocacy arm, the Center for American Progress Action Fund, serve as a central hub for Trump resistance as well as playing a leading role in shaping the healthcare debate within the Democratic Party. In 2018, reports emerged that Tandon had revealed the first name of a CAP employee complaining of sexual harassment. On April 28, 2020, Tandon was named to New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy's Restart and Recovery Commission. The commission was tasked with preparing the state to reopen after its COVID-19 lockdown. Media and writing Tandon has had a regular column for the New Republic Online. She has appeared on the News Hour with Jim Lehrer, Real Time with Bill Maher, MSNBC, CNN, and Fox programs. Political Views Neera Tandon, who frequently describes herself as a progressive, is considered by some media outlets as part of the liberal wing of the Democratic Party. She credits her experience as a child relying on welfare programs as well as the formative moment of witnessing Anita Hill's testimony against Clarence Thomas in 1991 with setting her on the path of career in public policy. She is regarded as a loyalist and confidant of New Democrats Bill and Hillary Clinton. Tandon has argued for expanding temporary assistance for needy families to serve more families. Much of Tandon's work relates to health care policy in America. She worked on the passage of the Affordable Care Act during the Obama administration. However she opposes single-payer health care, including Medicare for All proposals. As an alternative, the Center for American Progress proposed Medicare Extra for All, which the think tank describes as a blueprint for achieving universal coverage in the United States while maintaining a multi-payer system. Tandon has also praised Medicare for America, a similar bill introduced in the House of Representatives. In 2018, Tandon endorsed the idea of a job guarantee to help revitalize economically stagnant regions in the United States. She has been a vocal critic of U.S. Senator and former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, his policy proposals, and his supporters. She has also been subject to criticism by Sanders' supporters' personal life. At the University of California, Los Angeles, Tandon met Ben Edwards, an artist, whom she later married. They have two children, 